Okay, so hello everyone, I'm Akash and I welcome you to this new video on the channel and in this video I'm going to show you how you can install Kali Linux 2020.1 which is the latest version of Kali Linux onto your Raspberry Pi 4. So I have Raspberry Pi 4 which is of 4 GB that is the max you can get right now. So I'm going to install Kali Linux onto that and run Kali Linux on that and I will show you how you can do that. So without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first of all, from where you can download this Kali Linux. So if you go onto the Kali Linux.org website, then uh, you have to go in the downloads. Then in downloads, uh, just scroll down and you will see this download ARM images so I'm going to go in here so here are all the ARM images that you can get so we want for Raspberry Pi under this uh, Raspberry Pi foundation I'm going to go ahead and click on this to download this one and if you want you can download the torrent one as well so I have already downloaded this. Here is uh, the image file. After downloading, you'll just get these two files. So I have extracted the image file from this .xz zip file. So this is the image file here that I have extracted. So this is the 4.65 GB image file. Now I'm going to use Itcher as uh, my software for flashing this image onto uh, my SD card. So here is the software that you will have to download. So this one, if you uh, want to download for Windows, you can for Linux also it is available for Mac also it is available. So for all free operating systems, it is available, you can download it. And I have already downloaded and installed it. So this is the software okay so this is the software now uh, as you can see i have extracted the img file from this zip file so the thing is that if you use this uh, extracted image file and then you flash it onto your sd card then it is going to fail in this software so don't do that we are not going to use this one i'm going to straight away deleting it we are just going to use this one and we are going to flash this one straight away onto the sd card so here if you see that it supports image isos zip files and then if you hover over here then you can see all the different uh, extensions that this supports and at the end you can see that it supports xz as well and this is that extension so i'm going to use that and this is my uh, usb disk which is of 32 gb so i'm going to click on select image then on the desktop in this folder i have this dot uh, xz file i'm going to open it and my uh, sd card is also selected if you want to change then you can change from here i'm not going to change because this is the sd card now i'm just going to click on flash okay so it has started flashing now it is going to take some time so i'm going to just skip this okay so it's about to complete and it's done now it's just going to validate it once okay so the flashing is done so i'm just going to cancel it and as you can see my sd card is also ejected so this part is done now what i'm going to do is i'm going to insert my sd card into my raspberry pi okay so here is my sd card
so this is my 32 GB SD card and now I'm going to insert it into the Raspberry Pi okay it is done now I'm going to also insert the USB for my mouse and keyboard and then after I'm going to insert uh, the power supply so this is the type C cable and I'm going to also give the HDMI input okay so now I'm going to power on my Raspberry Pi okay so now I have to change uh, the display so it is booting up okay so it has booted up now what I have to do is I have to just write the default username and password and that is root and the password is tor t double o r that is the reverse of root and login so okay so we are logged in and as you can see here this is uh, the latest version of uh, Kali Linux so let me just uh, show you the undercover mode so this is the undercover mode okay so it's working fine and let's go back Okay, so we are back onto our default desktop setting. So this is how you can install Kali Linux 2020.1 onto your Raspberry Pi 4. So I'll provide all the links for the uh, Kali Linux uh, image file and the HS software that I used in this video in the description. So you can go there and download those software okay guys so that's it for this video if you like this video then click on the thumbs up button and if you want to see more of these videos then click on the red subscribe button and subscribe to this channel so that's it for this one and i hope to see you in the next one